UFC 260 review. Mm. I'm going to sum it up for you <laughs> in three quick, short phrases, and then I'm going to pass the ball over to you. Mm. Sugar Sean O'Malley to face the bantamweight legend Dominic Cruz next after his win. Tyron Woodley's done and needs to go back to rapping. <laughs> and Steve Miocic definitely deserves an instant rematch, but will probably not get one. Mm, yeah. The floor is yours. Man. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to watch that, that match, that, that fight between um, Ngannou and Miocic again. Dude, Ngannou was a different fighter this time. He was controlling the center of the ring. He, he was the one dominating on the ground. I mean, he, he was just all over Miocic. It, it, mm. I don't think he had an answer for him this time. I think, I think Miocic maybe underestimated him. Um, but Nganu came to fight, dude. He came to win. Um, mm. that, that short hook, that short hook of his, that just took, took Miocic. Oh, dude, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, mm. beautiful martial arts. Classic boxing. Man, yeah. he's a different yeah. fighter. Yeah, the, I mean, but if you look at even the body shape, from his first fight with Stannis versus now, the guy is shredded. Like he's his he's first become... fight with who? <laughs> Mirchich. What do you call him? I don't know. No, <laughs> no one knows what it means. <laughs> no one. <laughs> it's the people going. Mirchich. <laughs> Mirchich. Um, okay, there we go. Fine. Mirchich. Yes, his first fight with Mirchich. Uh, you, you can actually see the body difference. He came in as a machine this time around, and. I, I, I don't know if um, Miocic actually underestimated him or was genuinely scared. The, he, I think so. He came in big, man. He was, what, 20 pounds over uh, what Miocic was? He, he yeah, was a he machine was weird, yeah. when he came in there. And Miocic wasn't even in that fight. Like, yeah. he was dominated throughout. Ghana just, yeah, he did. He did. Man, I don't it think impressive. it was a case of him being scared or even underestimating him. I think it was it was simply a case of Francis Ngannou is putting the work to become mm. a well-rounded mixed martial artist, uh, mm. and his size and his power and his strength, paired with mm. his holistic mastery now of the game, was simply too much. He was the better yeah. fighter. Yeah, so fair enough. Do you, do you, do you think enough. having Usman in the corner made a difference? Yeah, especially from an inspiration perspective. Did you see at the end, man? African oh brothers. man, that got me. That got me teary eyed. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that really was quite an interesting one because he brought a lot of the training concepts that he did to get where he is, mm. and a lot of the ground game and stuff. Probably a few stomps here and there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I think that played a big role in the aspiration of where he wants to go and i think he wants to stay there man like fully he he's loving where he is now that was a conscientious decision on nganu's part huh so that's a that's a really smart move right mm. a lot of you know it's he's not just a, a fighter who goes in the, into the octagon to smash people anymore yeah like he's you know what i mean he's He's, he's a thinking, conscientious thinking, thinking mixed martial artist. And he had the yeah. foresight to go, hey, let me bring Usman into my camp mm. from an inspiration perspective. My African brother, the first African champion in the mm. UFC, uh, 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 an incredible wrestler, which is an area of my game that I would like to shore up. You mm. know what I mean? Like all of these things factored into a decision-making process um, that led to some kind of heightened performance, however small or however big. Mm. Yeah, helped him to get the job done, dude. It, yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't even. A, yeah, it wasn't even small things. It, it, he just dominated, man. He just looked like he he just wanted that fight and he wanted to win it and he was gonna win it. Like from the first round. Like I mean, it didn't last mm. very long, but I mean, from the beginning of the fight, Ingani was just there. He was in Miocic's face, pushing him against the the, uh, the edge of the, oct out, the outside of the octagon. Man, yeah, it was a beautiful. And fight. yet he was measured. Mm. Yeah. He, was he knew very, what he was very doing very, every very, point. Very, mm. Mm. And he was moving. Did you on, on the ground? Holy shit. For a big guy like that, moving that quickly around a guy who's dominated him on the ground the last time. Man. Yeah, he, he stuffed that takedown and almost in the same breath took his back. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. No. Yeah, he's a. I, I'm excited to see how long he stays up there. Yeah, I'm convinced okay. it's going to be a while. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. talk about okay. that okay. soon. Oh, hold, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> 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 For me, Stipe Miocic mm. is 
the best heavyweight that's that's ever competed in the yeah. UFC. He's Let's from a record real. perspective. Mm. He and he's been an, a, a phenomenal champion. Mm. He definitely deserves an instant rematch, right? The, the trilogy should happen. Mm. He mm. gave he gave Francis a rematch. It was an instant. Mm. He made him wait, but regardless, but it, it doesn't. That's not even on the cards for some reason. Um, there's you, two fights that people are talking about. But wait, wait, before you move on to those fights, what do you think the reason is for the no rematch? Because do you think I don't think it's Ngannou saying no? Do you, do you think no, it's Ngannou purely from said, a? Ngannou said in the, in his post fight presser that he doesn't necessarily feel the need to beat Stipe again to validate yeah. his championship status. But if the UFC wants him to, and because of the fact that there's a trilogy, he's completely open to it. Mm, okay. I think it's more a case of he wants to f- stay active and fight again mm. soon. And Stipe, is, I, I think Stipe from that fucking getting knocked the fuck out. Yeah, and just before that, he got for knocked two down. Months. Yeah. yeah he, he's, out, he's out for two months on concussion watch. So yeah. he's not even going to be able to train for the next six to eight weeks. Um, mm. So I think it's more a case of Stipe is kind of going to go now and reassess where he is and what he wants to do mm. next. But they're not going to wait for that. Yeah, for sure. No, they they need to capitalize on what Ngan has just done.